seriously, this is one of the few figures which I never think that I will ever buy, but somehow I bought it. So let's check it out. Hey, how's it going everyone? This is DCSG81 and welcome back for another review and this time we'll take a look at this Mayfax The Dark Knight Returns Batman Of course, this is The Dark Knight Triumphant, the blue version There is another version which is the black color versions of the Batman and it's non-battle damage and the reason why I gotten this one instead of that is because Yes, you get it right. I like the battle damage and also uh, the additional Bruce Wayne hit, which of course doesn't have it on the other one. Another reason is because I like the blue color of it because I think all my Batman so far is in black except for the harsh Batman. So this kind of like bring out the other variants of the Batman that I would like to have in my collections and it fits perfectly because of the da better damage as well yep so <laughs> before we begin let's take a look at the box design and from here we can see again I always like the white windows that we can see everything that we are getting it's a very good display and yeah we have a Batman here very nicely done the Mayfax Medicom toys and from the side we can see a very cool poses of the Batman and this other side even more cooler with the Bruce Wayne head on it yeah it's looking very good and at the back of the box we can see all the other pictures for this batman and right over here you can see something like a checklist for all the accessory that we'll be getting for this batman so let's crack him open And as always with all the Mayfax boxes, you can see a very cool background pictures in the box itself. This is the comic versions of it. You can actually display it with this Batman. It just looks pretty good. And here is the Batman Triumphant right out of the box. And as you can see, I have not removed the plastic yet. Yeah, I just took it out from the box. And the first thing that I noticed when I took him out, he just smells very good. <laughs> <laughs> yep, he does have a very strong uh, plastic smell like the I don't know how you describe that is a like a fresh right out of the box smell. <laughs> yeah, somehow I just find those smells rather pleasing. Yeah, you can call me weird, but I just like the smell of everything that is brand new. Yep, so these plastics are pretty hard to get it off. Okay, so let's see. Wow. This looks very good. I kind of like the bulk look of him. Yeah, I can see he's uh, fat. <laughs> but uh, it's just give me the feeling of the uh, Ben Affleck's uh, very brute kind of Batman. And his face does nail it very well. Wow, it's very brutal kind of Batman with the battle damage. It's very nice. I kind of like the claws like he's being scratched by Wolverine. <laughs> Yep, so let's take a look at all the battle damage. It's very, very well done. I kind of like this. Wow, oh yeah, I kind of forgot this. Very big bruises <laughs> on his left um, shoulder. Yeah, very nicely done. My goodness. Oh, we have another scratch here. Very nice. This is the kind of figures that I like with all the battle damage. It kind of adds to the realisms of the figure itself. Yes, very nice. And this one is, I noticed just now, it's a soft one. So don't have to worry that it will, you know, injure you, even though it's kind of sharp, but it's still a soft plastic. So very long uh, scratch here. Very nice. It's like better damage all over. They are not lazy, you know, just doing one here or any other place, but it's like all over. Yeah, so it's, it shows that they may pay attention to the details even here. And even the uh, right hands, you can see all the battle damage. Wow, this is very good indeed. I was hoping they could add another scratch here, like a bleeding one. Yeah, do notice that they don't have any bloods uh, except for here. Yeah, just some reddish. 
yeah they don't have much blurts on it maybe just to make it like uh, um they have some protocols to follow maybe not too bloody figures yeah on the back of it just looks pretty clean yeah maybe all the uh attack was blocked by his cape that's why he don't have any scratches at the back but you can see the muscle tone is looking pretty good wow this shows that the suit itself is very skin tight as you can see all the muscle and this piece of the belt is a separate piece that you can move around yep okay it's very very nice detail and the best thing is i kind of like the cape this time it's not as long or excessive as the hush batman yeah so it's just nice just touch the ground not like sweeping the floor <laughs> yeah so it it is very good now although it does looks oh sorry about that i'm taking back my words because uh i think i have not pulled it out fully yeah so it's kind of long but not as long as the hush batman so it's still good yep so yeah you can see the plastic here this piece is the rubber sorry not plastic it's the rubber and this is the fabric material and the blue kind of you know match very well you know it's not like you can just see that oh, this is rubber and this is cloth but it just you know integrates matches together very very nicely and it's a bandy wire all over here up to the end of it yep so the bandy wire is just these two portions and there's no bandy wire at the back and at the lower portion as well yep so this is how it looks like hey now it's the time for another round of the giveaway contest today is the contest number three so let's take a look at the clips right now still need more time for that man because there are some parts that's missing man we need to get it fixed man hmm. this clip does looks familiar do you know which video it comes from if you do do remember to send your answers to dcsg at gmail.com so let's start off the articulations with the head movement i'm not sure how well it's going to articulate because of the you know the rubber piece around his head so let's see how well he can turn his head oh not too bad yep looking to the top yep not too bad as well even though it's being hindered already oh <laughs> jump too much yep so you can put it back and looking down yep it's not too bad as well but it's very very minimal yeah even though it has a separate neck yeah you can still turn his head tilting his head no problem of course and as for the arm movement he can move freely 360 degrees no problem there's a butterfly joint that you can see uh the movement isn't much i would say let's see again yeah you can extend him to go further front a little bit but not very much as you can see it's being hindered by the muscle over here as well and there's an arm shivels okay a double joint elbow very nice and of course movable hands up and down because he have lots of interchangeable hands as well that we'll go through later and two point articulations on the mid torso as well as the waist area so he can bend forward uh let's see how well he can bend forward uh yep pretty good not too bad and bending backwards let's see okay not too bad as well but it will leave a huge gap that you can see is very very ugly yep so this is all he can do and let's see there's a twist on his waist no problem there as well as for his leg let's see there's any pull down mechanism nope okay how well he can split wow surprisingly he can split pretty well and there's no tight shivels yeah i believe they are trying to maintain the good look of his leg and let's see how well he can kick oh surprisingly he can kick up pretty well about 90 degrees slightly over 90 degrees over there kicking backwards let's see uh not going to happen because of his bad butt <laughs> yep and a double joint knee yep very nicely there turning of his boot no there's no turning there and his leg there's a ball joint that you can move up and down yeah you can hear the squeaky sound still <laughs> very new and there's a toe hinge as well 
let's talk about the bendy wires on his cape is pretty strong i would say you can see i just need to bend a little bit and it will stay even though there's no bendy wire oh there's a very nice cutting of the bat uh, cape you can see <laughs> yeah very nice i kind of like this so you can do like a like a bat wow this is nice and i believe this will stay let's see whether it will stay oh sorry about that yep so it does stays very very nicely it's a very strong bendy wire so for the articulation i think this guy is pretty decent yeah not too bad except for the missing leg shiver other than that i think it's pretty good there so let's go through the accessory as always it comes with a closed fist hand that's already on the figure a pair of open palm hands with the right hands being better damaged it's the same like the closed fist hands a pair of relaxed hands a pair of grabbing hands and lastly another pair of closed fist hands with the slightly opens of his uh you know the thumbs i think this is for holding his cape and he does comes with four of these very tiny better ranks and lastly he just comes with this unmasked head of bruce win i kind of like the white hair very very nicely done and i kind of like the blue black on his left eyes yes it's very nice it's very matching to this better damaged body and he just comes with this mask that is supposed to hang around his neck like he have just unmasked it yeah very nice done here <laughs> yeah this is how it should looks like and he also comes with a basic stand that is stick to the back of the box and in this section i'm going to show you how to interchange his head so basically you just need to pull it out together with the neck let's see how hard or how easy it is to pull out this piece oh wow oh okay <laughs> you just need to push it forward and it will come out and this is how the the joints looks like it's very very sturdy looking one let's just hope that it stays that way <laughs> don't wish to have any broken joint and then you just put it back in like this okay it's very very easy yep you can see the mask over at the back yes this is how you do it okay so for the size comparisons i would like to start off with some sh figures i have the iron man mark 85 right over here as well as the infinity war hulk right up next let's move on to some mayfax i have the hush superman right over here as well as the hush batman which looks pretty tiny as compared to him though yep so you can see how big the cape is for this guy as compared to him next i'll move on to some marvel legends i have the deadpool right over here which is one of my favorites and then we also have the us agent okay which scale pretty well with him and right up next i would like to compare with the mesco hellboy yeah which looks pretty in scale with this batman as well and also i like to compare with this figma deadpool which <laughs> looks pretty tiny as compared to these two big guy and next i would like to compare with some different brand which is the flashback studio peter parker as well as the nota studio logan and last but not least i would like to compare with some bigger brands like the zt toys iron man mark 3 as well as this huge guy here which is the mcfarlane toys uh, king shark wow you can see his tower over him very very big guy <laughs> okay okay my final verdict for this batman is i'm going to give it a 9 out of 10 i kind of like the overall aesthetic look of this figure especially on the better damage part of the body i think the mafix actually makes a lot of details uh, scratches and <laughs> better damage all over his body which makes him looks very very good and the bruce wayne blue black eyes just looks like a very good touch to this figure the articulation yeah it's kind of lacking in terms of the leg is missing the shivers other than that uh the cape is good yeah i kind of love that it actually makes the cape shorter as compared to the hush batman and also uh in terms of accessory it's kind of lacking but i don't mind the only things that i would like to 
you know nitpick is that the unmasked cape is kind of loose when i put it on the head of this figure yeah it just looks a little bit odd because it does reveal the skin but other than that yeah i think it's all very well done for this batman so i do recommend this triumphant batman to those of you who are big fans of the dark knight returns i think it looks very good it's a rather different batman to have in your collection so i'd love to hear what's your thought about this batman do you think that it looks good i do drop me your thoughts down in the comment sections below so hit the thumbs up button if you like this review and do consider subscribing to my channel i have new video up almost every alternate day and i'll catch you again in my next video as always stay safe take care and thank you for watching